Hermitcraft Season 10 just started, leaving Season 9 behind, and as usual, the members have built some truly insane mega bases. However, one stood out. Mambo Jumbo during Season 9 didn't really have the opportunity to build a base on the scale of other hermits, due to him taking a considerable amount of time off in 2022. And this unfinished base that he left behind just feels like a lost opportunity, with what he did finish actually looking really good. So today, I'm going to be finishing this base, to see what could have been made had more time be put into it. Firstly, I began by copy and pasting the walls around to create an actual shape. This really didn't take that long purely down to the fact that I'm in creative mode and I have access to world edit. However, getting this accurate was actually pretty difficult, and I'm pretty sure that I messed up a fair bit of this process. After I had finished this step, the build was already looking quite cool, however, there were several parts that looked really unfinished, especially the top area, which was the area that needed by far the most work. I tried to finish this area in a style replicating that of the rest of the build, and it actually didn't look too bad. An idea that I experimented with was leaving the top open, with these four things sticking out, all pointing to a huge beacon beam, which I thought was pretty cool honestly. If you didn't know, this base was meant to be a sort of vault, and I think that this carries the theme. Another thing that I decided to do was add some minor details, first making everything just stick out a bit. I genuinely don't know why I did this but I guess this sharp look kind of carries the theme of this being some huge fault. I also added these window-like builds, which honestly have no other purpose other than to look nice, and these hanging lights, which are way too high to actually light anything. But hey, at least it looks cool at night now. Now another thing that I had to do was terraform this build into the surroundings, and I really tried to blend this area into the part that Green already did. Did this look cool? Sort of. Was it because I have no skill whatsoever with terraforming? Totally. But jokes aside, this colour palette actually worked really well to contrast with the base. And it kind of gives the illusion that the vault has just been plonked there, and its design really doesn't follow a natural design like green space does. Lastly, I needed to create a way to get into the space. And just so you know, I have pretty much zero redstone knowledge. To exit the first vault, I built the same door as was on the entrance block for block, and I actually didn't mess it up. I rebuilt the bridge, and I built another door to get into the main building. I actually didn't use a tutorial for this, which even I'm surprised at, and it actually somehow works. So now enjoy this really over edited cinematic. Now the interior is still empty so if you want to see me do that, get this video to 100 likes, but until then, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.